Muhammad Arkun. Muhammad Arkun, Kabyal, Muhammad Arkun, Arabic, February 1, 1928, September 14, 2010, was an Algerian scholar and thinker. He was considered to have been one of the most influential secular scholars in Islamic studies contributing to contemporary intellectual Islamic reform. In a career of more than 30 years, he had been a critic of the tensions embedded in his field of study, advocating Islamic modernism, secularism, and humanism. During his academic career, he wrote his numerous books mostly in French, and occasionally in English and Arabic. He appeared on numerous occasions on French TV and magazines, on Berber television speaking in Kabyle, his mother tongue, and on Al Jazeera speaking in Arabic. Academic Career Arkun was born in 1928 in Tawrirt Mamoun, a Berber village in Great Kabylia in northern Algeria. His family were traditional religious and relatively poor. His father was a shopkeeper in Ain Alarba a wealthy French settlement in east of Oran. He attended primary school in his Berber-speaking home village until he was nine years old. As the eldest son, he was expected to learn his father's trade, while continuing to attend primary school. He studied at the Faculty of Literature of the University of Algiers and at the Sorbonne in Paris, Agraj in Arabic Language and Literature, 1956 and Ph.D., 1968. He established his academic reputation with his studies of the history and philosophy of Ibn Miskaway. As he began to consider how one might rethink Islam in the contemporary world, his questioning provided a counterpoint to the predominant interpretations of both the Muslim world and the non-Muslim West. As the editor of Arabica, he broadened the journal's scope, and played a significant role in shaping Western language scholarship on Islam. He is the author of numerous books in French, English, and Arabic, including most recently, Rethinking Islam, Boulder, Colorado, 1994, Limigration, De Fiat Richesses, Paris. 1998, and the unthought in contemporary Islamic thought, London, 2002. His shorter studies have appeared in many academic journals and his works have been translated into several languages. He was decorated as a commander of the French Legion of Honor in 2004, before that a chevalier and officer in 1984 and 1996, respectively. In 2001, Professor Arkun was asked to deliver the Gifford Lectures, which enable a notable scholar to contribute to the advancement of theological and philosophical thought and was announced as the recipient of the 17th Georgia Levi de la Vida Award for his lifelong contribution to the field of Islamic studies. Arkun taught at the Lyon II University, 1969-1972, as a professor at the Paris 8 University, and at the New Sorbonne University of Paris, 1972-1992. He was a fellow at Wissenschaftskolleg in Berlin, 1986 to 1987 and 1990, and at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, USA, 1992 to 1993, visiting professor at University of California, Los Angeles, 1969, Princeton University, 1985, Temple University, the University of Louvain La Neuve, Wallonia, Belgium, 1977 to 1979. The Pontifical Institute of Arabic Studies in Rome and the University of Amsterdam, 1991-1993, and served as a jury member for the Aga Khan Award for Architecture. At the time of his death he was emeritus professor at La Sorbonne as well as senior research fellow and member of the Board of Governors of the Institute of Ismaili Studies, IIS, at ease, he has taught various graduate courses including Unthought and Contemporary Islamic Thought, Rethinking Islam contemporary challenges of Muslim world and traditions for almost a decade. Arkun died on the evening of September 14, 2010, in Paris. Ideology Arkun advocated a radical paradigm shift that would allow for the rethinking of Islam as a cultural and religious system and subvert ideological and dogmatic constructs with hegemonic claims. He was committed to contribute to an archaeology of the hidden, repressed, and marginalized elements of Islam, in order to uncover, and set free, what he called, the exhaustive tradition of Islam. Most of his work is written in French rather than Arabic. In order to counteract the philological and historical bias of traditional Islamic studies, he advocated what he called applied Islamology following Roger Bastide's concept of applied anthropology. Applied Islamology aims to establish a disciplinary space between political and historical sciences, Arkun, The Answers, 25, taking into consideration elements of the court and long dury, as well as contemporary social factors. Arkun has developed an inclusive approach which seeks to deal with Islamic tradition in its entirety, including elements characterized by the representatives of orthodoxy, or official religion, as heterodox, and therefore marginalized and repressed. 
he has adopted a multifaceted and holistic approach which looks between traditional dogma and axioms. Arkun's critique of Islamic reason serves as the unifying theme, or leitmotif for the different concepts he elaborated over the course of time. Main publications In English In French In Arabic In Dutch In Indonesian Honors and awards Honors Awards Acknowledgement Honorary degrees Acknowledgement 